on YouTube, I'm back again with another Pickles video. So earlier this week, uh, on Tuesday, uh, in my lunch break, I had a ride into town, local to where I work, because um, I had to go to the post office. Uh, while I was there, I had a quick look around the charity shops, which I can do. There's only four in uh, in that town, so it's very easy to get around them. Um, there's also a pound shop, which I haven't really scored in there quite recently. Uh, not since before Christmas, I think. Or maybe just after. Um, and the Granger Games, um, which I haven't really looked in Granger Games that much recently, because... Uh, I haven't seen any baggers in there for a while, but uh, this time I decided to go in there while I was in town and it seems like they're selling off all their DVDs. Um, they reduced almost every single one to 50 pence. Um, there were a few TV sets that uh, they hadn't reduced, but uh, for the most part, all been reduced to 50 pence each. I was in quite a hurry, so I, I scanned through very quickly uh, and I picked up four DVDs, uh, 50 pence each. So I got The Pirates in an Adventure with Scientists. This is a really good Aardman uh, animated movie. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. Uh, Not Going Out, Series 4. Um, I think I've seen. Probably the first two series, I don't know how many there are, I think there's six or seven now. But I've, never, I've seen the first two and then just odd episodes from from the uh, the other series. So if I can pick up series three at some point, that'd be great. But yeah, glad to have got that. And then a movie I haven't seen since the 90s, I think. Uh, Jumping Jack, uh, try again. Jumping Jack Flash, Whoopi Goldberg. Um, yeah, I seem to recall this was... Uh, pretty good so just to got that and this one was a blind buy I don't know anything about this um the last seven um but it's uh Tamar Hussein and Danny Dyer so they're usually a pretty good combination yeah so got to have got that and pretty much that was it um there was a lot more in there and like I say I was in a hurry so I, uh, that's all I, I really got. But after work today, it had been Friday, I finished early. Rather than going back, um, I was thinking more charity shops. Uh, and I decided to, to go to a place that I went to last week where I got most of those VHS tapes that were in my last charity shop pickups video. Oh, they that particular town only has two charity shops, and one of them um, is quite pricey, if I'm honest, for a charity shop. But the other one is really good, the Butterwick Hospice. Um, so I thought a chance going back there, see what they've got. Um, and they had a whole load of VHS tapes again, but this time it was, it was all just common movies, stuff that's easily available on DVD that I've no interest in. No interest in getting on VHS at least, um, but nothing, nothing like I got last week. Nothing that's like hard to get on, or not, or even not possible to get on DVD. Um, so yeah, I struck out there. I got, I did buy one DVD uh, from the charity shop, which I'll obviously I'll show in my next charity shop pickles video. But while I was there. Um, I remember there was another Granger Games, so I had a look in this time, I had a lot more time and I had a good look through uh, and picked up a bunch more, again these are 50 pence each, um, so these first two um, I actually got just to trade in, uh, take to CEX, um, so yeah, the Jersey Shore, never seen a single episode of this and I never want to see an episode of this, but uh, it's got a reasonable trading value at uh, CEX and for 50p, I grabbed it. Uh, and the complete first season of Nikita. Uh, this is an awesome show, um, but I have this on Blu-ray already, so yeah, there's no need for me to keep this. 
Um, so again, another trade in for CX, and then the rest of this lot is all for D. So next up, I grabbed that seventy show complete first series. Seventy show series three, series four, and series five. Um, unfortunately, they didn't have series two, um, but I'm sure I'll pick up that. Pick that up at some point. Probably not for fifty p, sadly, but uh, you never know. I'll keep a look out for it. And um, another show that. Uh, I remember being advertised on, I think it was BBC Three, uh, years ago, um, but never ever watched. Um, Titty Bang Bang. Don't know anything about this, but so I thought for fifty pence, I'm going to give it a try. Uh, awesome comedy from the nineties. Drop Dead Fred. I don't think I've seen this for a long, long time, but uh, yeah, Rick Mail's always really funny, uh, and some more. James Bond movies for my DVD collection. So I got Thunderball. Again, all of these have the uh, the spine out, which make up the uh, the logo on the side. Uh, you only live twice. Moonraker. And Tomorrow Never Dies. Next up, I got Clown. Hey, good and bad things about this. It comes in a slip cover, but again, for 50p, I'm going to give it a go. Uh, Insidious 3. Again, that comes with a slip cover. Father Brown, Series 4. I saw the first series of this, I think it was on Netflix probably two years ago but it was the only series on there they didn't have any any series two three four five I have many there are I'm not sure but uh, so yeah I've only ever seen the first series and really enjoyed it so looking forward to getting into that and we have a Terry Pratchett classic The Hogfather love that uh, Shrek 2 this is a limited edition two disc set with a slip cover which is very tight on there you can see but it also opens up you know, this little 3d-esque pop-up scene i thought it was a good little collectible um plus i don't actually have shrek 2 on dvd or blu-ray or I do now obviously but I didn't have it on any other format or this format so yeah glad to have got that then we have a two movie set the A-Team and True Lies um, don't really need the A-Team I've got a blu-ray of that but True Lies that's such a good film again I haven't seen for a long time I actually watched this as soon as I got in this afternoon um, yeah it didn't disappoint it was as, uh, as good as ever fantastic so I'm really chuffed to have got that Seemingly, there's no Blu-ray release for this, or is there? I don't know. I looked online, I couldn't find anyone selling a Blu-ray release of this. Uh, at least not a UK release, whether well, it's been released in the States, I would imagine it probably has. Um, but again, could it be region locked? I don't know. Um, but yeah, it looked good on DVD, but I'm sure it'll look awesome on Blu-ray. But yeah, awesome film, really happy you've got that. And then finally, Lego Star Wars, uh, The Paduan Menace, The Empire Strikes Out, and The Elder Chronicles. Um, the Paduan Menace I do have on Blu-ray. Uh, the other two never got the Blu-ray release once again. So to grab all three uh, and the DVD set for 50p, what's not to like? So yeah, that was it. Um, short and sweet. Um, I think I'm probably going to go to another one tomorrow uh, and see what they've got. 
So there's another another Granger games fairly locally that uh, I haven't been to for a while. And if they're all reducing their DVDs to 50 pence each, best getting in there sooner rather than later. Um, because it didn't look like this one I went to today. It looked like the shelves were still full. Um, but they hadn't really been picked through. I mean, they can't have been picked through because some of these are bargains for 50p. Um, in a few days' time, especially now the weekend's approaching, or the weekend's here, there's going to be more people looking through them. So, uh, yeah, I think uh, tomorrow morning I'm going to hit up one in town and see what else they've got or what they've got. Because uh, I haven't been in that one for a while. Anyway, I'm rambling. Um, yeah, thanks so much for watching and uh, I'll catch you again next time. Ta-ra.